All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to fix this printer control board and the loose connector here. I'm going to have to solder these traces back in. I may end up having to run a bodge wire back just to get them on there. It's quite possible I'm going to have to do that. But first off, I want this thing not to move no more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the hot gun, glue gun right here. And I'm just going to hold this up to where I want it to be. Well, actually, you know what? First off, let me do this. Because it's kind of dirty. I'm just going to take some isopropyl alcohol and an old dirty toothbrush. It started it out clean. It's dirty from all the cleaning I do with it. Let's just clean all this stuff off here really good. I gotta fix over here too, so I might as well just do the same over here. If you wanna have a nice clean surface to stick the hot glue to. Alright, now and grab my little rag so I can dry it off. So I'm gonna evaporate on its own, but I'm gonna dry it off. Now I'm gonna take the hot glue gun. I'm going to hold this where I want it, like so. I'm just going to really fill this in with some hot glue. So that it will give something to hold on to. Again, this is not going to be something that I take, unhook and hook back up. You know what I mean? It's not going to be always getting disconnected, but I don't want it to come apart anymore. This printer board, even how dirty it is, does work. It works pretty good. So I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to just pile some down in here just to give some support for this so that it's not being held in by just the little bit of solder on a trace. And this ain't like unusual. I have a couple of printer boards. If you're wondering, I'm reaching down to get another glue stick. I have a couple of printer control boards that actually do have hot glue all along there. So this must be a known issue that Coleco knew about. Instead of fixing it, they just let it go. So what we've done here, and now what will happen is as this glue dries, not only will it stick it to the, to the circuit board, it'll also stop it from wiggling because it won't be able to move up and down anymore. So that's what we're going to do there. And once that's dry, then I will figure out how I'm going to fix this side here. I, I mean, the trace is there, but not much. It might be better for me just to, as you can see, just like to, for this one to run a wire back to one of these here and that one, run that wire to somebody along the trace and so on. Just instead of trying to rely on connecting right here to that section. Let's we'll see what happens. And over here, I'm just going to try to reflow the solder on these because these are connected pretty good. So I'm just going to hit them with the heat. This one, I mean, I could probably hit this one to heat too. Maybe I should try that first. And if that doesn't work, then yeah, I'll try that first. I'll try to flow some solder and see. It, I mean, it's hard for you to see probably, but right there, there is no connection there. This one is off the trace. Let's see what I can do. Once I hook it on here, I'll just continue to test things to make sure it works. So, I'm going to pause the camera and come back when the soldering iron is ready. Alright, we're all ready to go. Soldering iron's warmed up. I got the continuity tester out and I just want to check the wiring just to see if we got any contact at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test from here to here. Oh, let's turn it on. I got to give me a continuity tester, it just makes noise. That's good there, but if I follow that trace back to somewhere else, see nothing. No contact there. Let's see this one. We're good there. Follow the trace back to via somewhere. Nothing. This trace. Good. Nothing. This trace. I mean this connection. Good. Follow the trace back. Nothing. So all four of these, none of them are making contact with the traces. So that means it wouldn't work. And that comes from pulling the plugs on and off too, especially old equipment that's been sitting for so long. These plugs and these traces are pretty weak. So what I'm doing is, this is this flux over here, helps things stick together. Kind of smells pretty good. And I'm gonna see if I can just reflow some of this onto that trace. And now I'm gonna test the continuity 
to see if it helped it. Let's just check that for a second. Turn the tester on. I just want to see if we now have contact going through. I don't want to have to run a wire if necessary. I'd like to just use the traces, but let's just see. That one goes to here. Still nothing. We got there, but nothing there. Nothing there. So it looks like I'm going to have to try something else here. What's, what's, See, can I clear the trace off a little bit? Let's see what I can do there. Uh, where is my little utility knife? Let's take the utility knife. Let's see if I can scrape some of this off the surface here. Get down to the trace. Maybe I can just run some solder over to that trace. I'm just scraping the protective film off of it to get down to metal. See? That's all I did. Nothing else. Now what I'm going to do is... <laughs> I need something to use. Let's see. I didn't think I'd have to do this, but I'm going to take a Q-tip. Cut the end off of it here. Just to give me some plastic thing. See? Q-tip. Took the end off of it. I just want to put some flux on that trace just to see if I can help the solder stick to it better there okay now let's take the solder gun again come down here and see what we can do let's try to heat this up see if I can get some solder to attach itself to this thing Struggling, but I may have gotten it attached there. Let's see. Let's see if we got it. I'll continue up here just so you can see it too. Follow along with me. Obviously, you got that, but do I have it out here? I do. So that one is fixed. Now we need to do the others the same way. First, try to fix it at the Attachment point then, if not, scrape some solder off and go from there. Let's see what we can do now. Let's try to fix this one. As I heated it up, I just saw the trace just lift right up off of the thing, so that may not be too good. Get rid of the excess solder on there. You should see, or maybe you can't see, but it just lifted right off of there. I think that one's going to need a wire. You know what? I'm going to wire all four of these on here. So I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to get some wiring together. And I'm just going to wire them. I don't want to take a chance on them coming apart as soon as I put it back together and plug it in. Because this is still always going to have a little bit of play on it. So I'll pause the video. Get some wires connected up, or cut up. And we'll come back. Okay. So I'm going to start soldering four bodge wires on here. Just to connect this to the board itself. Away from these traces. I'm not going to talk over it. Instead, I'll just fast forward through it and let you watch me do it. Okay, so we're done. It's not the prettiest patch job, but it will work. So now, I'm just going to test this just to make sure. Get my continuity tester out. And I just want to make sure that I'm getting continuous. That's good. That one goes to 
here, that's good. That one goes to here, that's good. That one goes to, where are you at, here. That's good, yes, we got continuity. Now these others here, I wonder if I can just hit them with the heat and they'll just reattach. I don't want to overheat them and lift them off completely. And I won't have to bodge wire every single one of those. So let's see what I can do with this. First off, my starting iron's getting a little dirty. So we'll reach down here and grab my cleaner. Where you at? Here it is. I gotta give me a metal Brillo pad. But until then, this works good. Nice and clean. Yeah, I need one of those copper Brillo pads or brass ones, or whatever the ones. Once you shove it in there and clean them, I just don't have one yet. So what I want to do is I'm going to try to just put some heat on these things here and see if I can get them to reflow in. I don't know if I'm succeeding or not. It looks like the traces are lifting up off of it. I may or may not succeed with this. I can see down here that, yeah, that one, that trace ain't attached to anything now. You're a mess. All right, maybe I saved it. I probably should take the continuity and just see which of these traces may be bad. It may be that there are good ones and bad ones. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna see if I can figure out which ones they are. So, I'll go ahead and pause this and do a testing and see what we got going. Okay, I did a continuity test of all the pinouts to make sure they went through. Now, all of them are good, with the exception of one. The one that I said the trace lifted up on. And that one is right there. And the nice thing is, is that one is connected to these here, the one right next to it, and that. I don't know if it's a power, ground, or whatever, but it's automatic, it's already connected to them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to jumper that over to the one next to it. And that should work out pretty good. Let's see if I can just put a blob of solder across without ruining anything. There we go. So now I jumpered it. So now that pin is connected. Now these are connected and the hot glue is holding everything into place. So this should be good to go now. I'm going to put it back together a little bit and I'll give her a test and see what she does. All right, so now we're back over here at the set. I put the printer board and the control, or the power supply board and the control board back into the printer I'm rebuilding. And I've got it hooked back up in here. I just had a scary 20 minutes trying to figure out what happened. Because before I went on camera I plugged it in and I turned it on without having it plugged into anything just to make sure it didn't explode and destroy my atom reset worked this whole problem or worked this whole thing no problem everything worked great hooked it up to the atom turned on the cameras mic'd up started talking and I realized I'm not on camera my camera moved a little bit here we go actually you know what it's not that the camera moved it's out in here there we go so I mic'd up turned the camera on started filming nothing it would turn on and sit there, and I'm back and forth, back and forth, trying to figure out what is going on, what is going on, what is going on. It's not working. Finally, I turned the camera off. I'm going through here. I'm checking wires, make sure everything's all hooked up, and it just turns on, does its reset of the strike head, but that's it. No motors move, nothing. Adam doesn't finish doing its reset. I'm like, okay, I guess I toasted it somewhere. Then I realized I still had the Adam net plugged into the ADE and just like a disk drive if it's plugged in it's not powered on it brings the add net down locks up the system bad design Coleco you should fix that anywho so now we're going to show you how this works I got a little handy cam here too I'm going to turn them on and we're going to reset this over here I may actually take the footage I put on input on the blooper reel I think I will so anyways turn her on and she goes over Resets and works. So, 
So we have salvaged this printer. Now it's just a matter of cleaning it all up. This is going to be part of that special project I keep teasing, so it's not going to be perfectly cleaned up when I get done, but it's going to be cleaned up. So there we have it. I took a broken printer that wasn't working, fixed it, put it back in service. And cam also, so you can see what it's doing here. Let's pull this over here. I always want to have it over here, just so you can see that it does reset itself. So, power on. And nothing. What the heck? What are you doing? Just a second ago, you. Oh, yeah, now you click. Hmm. Something loose in here? Did one of the wires come loose? But it's going to make me look like a fool now. So let's try this again. Pick the camera back up. What you did? Something come loose. See that it does reset itself, so power on. And nothing. What the heck? What are you doing? Just a second ago, you oh yeah, now you click. Hmm. Something loose in here? Did one of the wires come loose? Did I not supposed to come in? It just worked a second ago. This one is a little iffy, but it's going to make me look like a fool now. So let's try this again. Pick the camera back up. Wait, did something come loose? Mm-hmm. Alright, let's turn you off. Yeah, please wait for campaign. Yeah. Turn all this off and start over.